welcome. Wasi 2023 Federal Mathematics, Mathematics, the elective subject. Question number two of the section B. So the first term and the sum to infinity of an exponential equation GP are 54 and 162 respectively. Meaning the first term is 54, the sum to infinity is 162. Find the sum of the fifth and the sixth term. So for us to find the sum of the fifth term and the sixth term, we need a common ratio because the first term has been given. So what do we do? Let's just bring out the terms in the question. We know we have first term, which is labeled as A, and that is the 54 we have been given. Then sum to infinity with the symbol with this is equals to A divided by 1 minus R. And this is equals to 162. Now, if you look at this formula, we can see we know what the common uh, first term is left with a common ratio. So, per substitution, with our first term introduced here, that we imply that your 54 divided by 1 minus r will be equal to 162. You can see this is a fraction. A fraction. So let's cross multiply, meaning 1 minus r will multiply 162 equals to 54. So fast forward, let's expand this bracket. 1 times 162, 162 minus r times this will still be 162r equals to 54. I believe we are having a constant and a constant. So let's bring this with the r to the right and 54 come here. So 162, since it's positive, it becomes negative 54. Negative becomes positive 162R. So let's see what that will be. And that gives rise to 108 equals to 162R. Since the attention is on R. So let's divide both sides by 162, 162. R will be equal to, do we have a common factor? And that will be 54. So 54 go here two times and go here three times. So our common ratio that we are looking for is 2 on 3. Now, the next task is to find the, the fifth term. You know, in finding the term, let's do a recall. So if n is standing for fifth or the five. It means 5 will be here. So your fifth term is now going to mean a r 5 exponent. 5 minus 1 as the exponent. And that will give rise to, let's say, a r exponent 4. This is the fifth term. What are we going to do? Put in the values of a and the r. That means that your fifth term will be 54 times... 2 divided by 3 or exponent 4. And I believe this is the indices. 2 exponent 4 will be 16. Then uh, 3 exponent 4 will also be 81. What I mean is that 54 times this will give us 16. This will give us 81. As in terms of what? Uh, exponent. 2 exponent 4 is 16. 3 exponent 4 is 81. Then I believe 54 and uh, 81 has a common factor. And that will be 9. 9 here, we get 9. 9 here, 6. 3 here, 2. 3 here, 3. So 2 times this will give us our fifth term to be 2 times 16, 32, divided by the 3. So we know what the fifth term is. Now we are left with the sixth term. So in this case, we know that your sixth term will also be a r six exponent uh, r exponent six minus one, which will mean a r exponent five. So per substitution, our sixth term will be fifty four as the first term, two divided by three as the common ratio raised to the power five. So what do we do? 
we know we can have 54 times 2 exponent 5 will be 32. Then 3 exponent 5 will give us 243. So per that division, we have our sift term equals to 64 divided by 9. So therefore, your sift term plus fifth term plus the sift term will become, what do we have there? 32 divided by 3, 64 divided by 9. We know 3 is a factor of 9. So we can multiply here by 3, 3. So we are going to have 32 times 3. That will give us, here will be 96. So 96 divided by 9 plus 64 divided by 9. So this here, we have 100. So 160. 160 divided by 9. So let's see if we can convert this into decimal. And that will give us 17.778. That is three decimal places. So now the sum of the fifth term and the sixth term is just 17.778 to three decimal places. So this is the question number two. The question number three will be the next one. Come back to this piece. Let us continue. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.